A pilot, Drain Man here, and today I have got a very special video. In today's video, we're going to be taking these two batteries and we're going to torture them. We are going to take a $50 battery and a $20 battery and we're going to compare, we're going to find out, we're going to torture, is it worth the money to spend more than double on a battery if you can get one for 20 bucks? Let's go! All right, pilot, so the first pack here is the $20 battery. This is a Speedy Bee pizza pack, brand new, as you can see. That is a 1200 milliamp hour, and it's about $21.99, so 21, 22 bucks. This one here is a Thunder Power, brand new out of the box. There's your packaging, sticker, and the Lunar Lander itself, brand new and gorgeous. I will not deny, neither one of these batteries are ugly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Here's the thing though. This one is $48.99. That's quite a price difference for a pack, for one single pack. You can get almost three of these for this price. Let's find out how do they come right out of the box. Nobody's touched them, nobody's looked at them. What do they read? Okay, 34%, let's see how our cells look, 3.8, 3.8, 3.8, 3.8, 3.8, 3.8, okay. That is a healthy pack. Looking good. Oh, they, they hid the lead from us. Okay, colorful short lead, but let's see. Brand new. Ooh, 23, let's see, 3.7, 3.7, 3.7, 3.7, okay, uh, oh, all right, well, one cell is a mm, smidget higher, no big deal, who's counting, all right, now, part of the initial torture is going to be to charge these suckers at 10 amps, I know, I know. 10 amps. That one's already at 9.8. That one's that there, there you go. So we're pumping these at 10 amps a piece. What we're gonna do is when the first one's done, we're gonna cycle that one non-stop and we're gonna see what can it handle, what can it do. How many flights are we gonna get before it gets puffy, before it gets too hot? Hopefully it don't just explode and eat my quad alive. Alright pilots, as you can see we are about fully charged and I just want to go over the quadcopter with you. I have selected this quad because I'm running the Vanny V2s and these are 2021 kV. That means that uh, this guy has no problem sucking amps out of a battery. So I think it's going to be the perfect choice. I put the R42s on. These are not not aggressive props so they should be just enough to pull hard i've got the gopro on for the added weight and let's take it to the sky all right so the first pack going in the hot seat is going to be the lunar lander and i'll tell you what holding it in my hand i really like the form factor of this thing <laughs> it's my first one i've never had one before but <clears throat> i am going to be honest i'm a little sad 50 dollar battery down the pooper but it'll be worth it for the name of science. Let's go.
my god. My fingers are shaking. Nineteen volts. Eighteen volts. We're going on forty seconds. Forty two seconds. Twelve. Ten volts. Nine volts. Eight volts. We're down. We're down. We're down. Woo! Oh my god! All right, where are we at? Oh my goodness! Oh shiz, shiz, oh my God, it's so hot. Whoo, look at that. Oh. oh my God, it's 220 degrees. Whoo, she's hot, look, the cell. Cell pop, look at that, look at that. Oh my God, it's literally smoking. Literally smoking. Look at that, 200 degrees. Smoking, tearing the freaking, the heat shrink is tearing. Whoo! Pilots. <laughs> this is nuts. I am watching the actual lithium polymer separate. Whoo! Look. Look at it sizzling. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. 200 degrees in there. All right. This is getting fun. But dangerous, let's go! <laughs> All right, so, oh, that's hot. Temp gun, let's go ahead and check this thing. Might, oh, might blow up on us. Might blow up on us. Whew. Look at all the acids in there. The entire top portion of this pack is full of liquid. So, whew, might be RIP. Let's find out. Zero, oh my gosh. Two dead cells. This is now a three cell battery. $50 three cell battery. All right, we know who's out of the running now. All right, pilots, next up in the hot seat is the China Hobby Line Pizza Pack. And this is a 1200 milliamp hour 6S battery. Mm. Gonna go down the drizzane, but it's all in the name of science. And we are on the same drone, same propeller, same GoPro. Everything you see here is identical to the Lunar Lantern. Let's see what happens because I'm nervous. I can only imagine that if a $50 battery can't handle it, how is this one gonna handle it? Let's see. It may not even make it. It may not even make it through the flight. It definitely expanded because it ripped the label. Definitely, whoo, 188, and definitely not as hot. That's for sure. Who would you say that that cell? Whoo, 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 whoo,
Holy cow, 2021 KV is just slaughtering these packs. Let's see here, look at that. Woo! She's beefy, she's definitely swollen after one flight. You can see here though, the thunder power is actually like exploded. Actually exploded right here. This one is not see-through, so we can't tell, but it's it's pretty hot still. Let's see, we're at 170 degrees. So let's go ahead and check our cells and see how we're looking. Whew, this makes me nervous. My fingers are steaming with lipo. Oh my. One, two, three, four, five. So it definitely killed a cell as opposed to the Lunar Lander who has lost three cells. All right, so before we go any further, I need to know who was in the sky longer because that's a big portion of this. If one battery was able to hold up for a minute and a half and the other one only lasted 20 seconds but yet didn't lose as many cells, we can't call it the winner because it didn't hold out full throttle 2021 KV in the sky as long as its competitor. So here's what we've got. Because my DJI goggles are set to record automatically, what happens is the moment I hit that arm switch, it starts recording, and the moment I turn off the arm switch, it stops recording. So because of that beautiful little process and me taking off instantly after arming, there was about a one second delay on the China Hobby Line, I'll give it that. So that puts us at 51 seconds on the Lunar Lander and drum roll, 55 seconds on the China Hobby Line. So that is a four second difference. We're gonna give my half a second to one second delay on from arm to takeoff on the China Hobby Line. We're gonna give it and we're gonna say that one was at 51 and one was at 54 seconds in the sky. And at a three second difference, we're coming down with three cells down on one and one cell down on the other. All right, pilots, there it is. You got all your info on the Lunar Lander by Thunder Power, the Speedy Pizza by China Hobby Line. You've got everything you need to know from flight time to actual final cell count to total voltage when done, both charged at 10 amps and take it to the sky at full throttle. So let me know down in the comments which one would you buy and which one would you spend your money on? I want to give a quick shout out to NV Astro for inspiring this video and any battery manufacturers who are up to the challenge, let me know and maybe send me your packs and we'll find out if they can handle it or not. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.